Hello and welcome. You're tuned in to Market Code, your business identifier, and we're broadcasting live through the Muslim channel here at the .NET Broadcasters Studios at The Hub. Now we have quite a couple of activities that happen here at The Hub. We have the DBS, we are broadcasters and we do live streaming, we are a production house, outdoor broadcasting, name it. Not forgetting Nana Keks for all your pastry needs, we got you sorted. Now just call the number on your screen and we'll be definitely able to get to you now tonight. On the market code is me, Yose, is me Shadrach Shagaf Kisame, and of course I'm joined by my sister, Hajara Ashaba. Now tonight we're going to be... Hi, Hajara. Hi, Shadrach. Thank you for hosting me. <laughs> so tonight I want us, Hajara, to be talking about, um, you see, as China broaden, broadens its wings into the African continent, most of the African economies are infested with Chinese commodities. Now, as we dig deep and we are successful auto automobile industry, yeah, yeah. so uh, I would actually a favor Turkey if I was interested in an export import uh, sort of transaction. Exactly. Now, you're talking about how big their automotive industry is. Mm. Right next year, uh, we're going to have call live in Turkey. Mm. And on the show tonight, we're going to make sure that the people see there's one of the guys there. He's an investor. Mm. He has an um, automotive company. Mm. He has a big, big, massive uh, automobile production company. Mm. So you discover that um, what you're actually saying is correct. He's one of the many that are actually in that business. Yeah. Yeah. So, um I, I mean, there are countries, uh, countries say in, uh, uh, situated in places where uh, Turkey is, yeah. uh, they get to do things we do not do, uh, yeah. uh, given their geographical advantage, uh, and they don't produce things that we do produce. Uh, I, for example, as an African, uh, uh, as Uganda as a country, yeah. we would rather be agricultural, yeah. but you have people here that are going to give you something quality. Yeah, yeah. The distance is nearer. Yeah. The states and uh, so the, the taxes that you have to deal with, yeah, yeah. they are limited compared to when you're shipping in something from China. Something from far, yeah. Yeah, and, and then you have an establishment like uh, the Muslim channel that has uh, the links yeah. to uh, get the Ugandan market and the Ugandans in interested in um, uh, having in Turkish products. Let's, let's just, just uh, before we actually bring them in mm -hmm. right now, um, are Ugandans ready for these investors to come in? And because these guys have already their products, they have their money. Let's say, for instance, Ibrahim, whom we're going to be having shortly, mm -hmm. if he says, hey, I want to bring my automobile or automotive plant in Uganda, are we ready for such kind of investments? Um, you know, over the years, Uganda yeah. has been uh, pointed at as uh, an investment hub before yeah. COVID hit. But as long as they normally say that it's actually simpler for foreigners yeah. uh, to, to get incentives like tax holidays co compared to Ugandans. Yeah. So uh, me, if, if I was a Turkish investor, yeah. I would know that Uganda is quite the destination mm -hmm. because it is a growing economy. Yeah. People need these, um, uh, these uh, uh, delivery trucks, for example, yeah. that Turkey is known for exporting. Yeah. Yeah. And there is a raw market in Uganda. So yeah. why not just uh, go? I, I, I would find it rather yeah. yeah, a country that has reached nearly 66% of its manufacturing capacity. Yes. This is huge. Yeah, the, and, and here is Taki uh, trying to uh, wrestle out giants that have been in market for long. Yeah. Uh, you are the 29th uh, largest exporter, yeah. uh, but you need to do better. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there, are, there are markets like Africa. Africa is considered as the next big market of yeah, the world. Yeah. So you have Africa. Africa is fresh. Um, why not take your services uh, closer? I, I would yeah. rather find it advantageous. Shortly before we bring them in, do you think we are ready for their um, expensive products? Because China is relatively cheap, mm. but Turkey, I doubt. Uh, you know, there is relatively cheap. Yeah. Then uh, there is how efficient are right. the relatively cheap products. Right, right. And for Ugandans that understand what ought to be done, yeah. they normal, actually Ugandans normally go out of their way yeah. to get things from Europe, to mm -hmm. get things from uh, the United States, yeah, or yeah. high-end Chinese products that are rather expensive but yeah. quality. Mm -hmm. So if um, you can have someone setting up an establishment in Uganda yeah. that brings closer those, I would think Ugandans are ready. 
All right. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, right now, after the break, we're going to have uh, the investors come live in. Um, we're going to be having the one, the automobile you just talked about. Ibrahim, he has a big plant. You're going to be seeing it. Mm -hmm. Actually, actually, let's get them. Then the producer will at least show us what uh, Anwar Auto World does. Now, do not go away. After the break, we go live in Turkey with Touchdown. having shortly if he says hey i want to bring my automobile or automotive plant in uganda are we ready for such kind of investments um to produce uh, uh, I, for example as an african uh, uh, as uganda as a country yeah we would rather be agricultural yeah but you have people here that are going to give you something quality. Yeah, yeah. The distance is nearer. Yeah. The states and uh, so the, the taxes that you have to deal with, yeah, yeah. they are limited compared to when you're shipping in something from China. Something from far, yeah. Yeah, and, and then you have an establishment like uh, the Muslim channel that has uh, the links yeah. to uh, get the Ugandan market and the Ugandans in interested in um, uh, having in Turkish products. Let's, let's just, just uh, before we actually bring them in mm -hmm. right now, um, are Ugandans ready for this e business? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I, I mean, there are countries, uh, countries say in, uh, uh, situated in places where uh, Turkey is, yeah. uh, they get to do things we do not do, uh, yeah. uh, given their geographical advantage. Uh, and they don't produce things that we do produce. Uh, I, for example, as an African, uh, uh, as Uganda as a country, yeah. we would rather be agricultural. Yeah. But you have people here that are going to give you something quality. Yeah, yeah. The distance is nearer. Yeah. The states and uh, so the, the taxes that you have to deal with, yeah, yeah. they are limited compared to when you're shipping in something from China. Something from far, yeah. Yeah, and, and then you have an establishment like uh, the Muslim channel that has uh, the links yeah. to uh, get the Ugandan market and the Ugandans in interested in um, uh, having in Turkish products. Let's, let's just, just uh, before we actually bring them in mm -hmm. right now, um, are Ugandans ready for these investors to come in? And because these guys have already their products, they have their money. Let's say, for instance, Ibrahim, whom we're going to be having shortly, mm -hmm. if he says, hey, I want to bring my automobile or automotive plant in Uganda, are we ready for such kind of investments? Um, you, you know, over the years, Uganda yeah. has been uh, pointed that as uh, an investment hub before yeah. COVID hit. But uh, as long as it, they normally say that it's actually simpler for foreigners yeah. uh, to, to get incentives like tax holidays co compared to Ugandans. Yeah. So uh, me, if, if I was a Turkish investor, yeah. I would know that Uganda is quite the destination mm -hmm. because it is a growing economy. Yeah. People need these, um, uh, these uh, uh, delivery trucks, for example, yeah. that Turkey is known for exporting. Yeah. Yeah. And there is a raw market in Uganda. So yeah. why not just uh, go? I, I, I would find it uh, rather yeah yeah a country that has reached nearly 66 percent of its manufacturing capacity yes. this is huge 
Yeah, and, and here he is, Taki, uh, trying to uh, wrestle out giants that have been in market for long. Yeah. Uh, you are the 29th uh, largest exporter, yeah. uh, but you need to do better. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there, are there are markets like Africa. Africa is considered as the next big market of yeah, the world. Yeah. So you have Africa. Africa is fresh. Uh, why not take your services uh, closer? I, I would yeah. rather find it advantageous. Shortly before we bring them in, do you think we are ready for their... Um, expensive products because China is relatively cheap mm. but Turkey I doubt uh, you know there is relatively cheap yeah then uh, there is how efficient and right. relatively cheap products right, right. and for Ugandans that understand what ought to be done yeah they know actually Ugandans normally go out of their way yeah. to get things from Europe to mm -hmm. get things from uh, the United States yeah or yeah. high-end Chinese products that are rather expensive but yeah. quality mm -hmm. so if um, you can have someone setting up an establishment in Uganda yeah. that brings closer those I would think Ugandans are ready all right. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, right now, after the break, we're going to have uh, the investors come live in. Um, we're going to be having the one, the automobile you just talked about. Ibrahim, he has a big plant. You're going to be seeing it. Okay. Actually, actually, let's get them. Then the producer will at least show us what uh, Anwar Auto World does. Yeah. Now, do not go away. After the break, we go live in Turkey with Touchdown. And welcome back. It's still the market code, your business identifier. Now, this is an exclusive. We are live in Turkey, but from Uganda here at the .NET Broadcaster Studios. Now, I want to welcome Mr. Mustafa and Mr. Ibrahim. Uh, Mr. Mustafa, if you could just say hello to the people and introduce uh, the general manager for Unwa Automobile. Thank you very much, brother, for first of all, and uh, I would you like and uh, thank you very much for interesting Muslim channel. Yeah. Okay, so um, could you tell Mr. Ibrahim to greet us in Turkish? We shall understand. Let him say hi to the people. 
İbrahim abi bir insanlara merhaba e, hay, e, bir merhaba de abi. Merhaba. E, merhabalar. Bu yayına e, bize katılma şansınız için çok teşekkür ediyoruz. Firmamız adına. İnşallah hayırlı olur. It's uh, for everybody and uh, hi, hello. Uh, uh, this program for and first of all, uh, you like and thank you very much for interesting Mr. Kana. All right, all right, uh, Mr. Mustafa, I have uh, a question or two for Mr. Ibrahim. And the, qu the question would be, if he can kindly explain to the people who are watching the quality of his products, and then also to help ex uh, the people understand that is there any other African countries that they have operations in as UNWAL, where they have had successful projects uh, before maybe they launch in Uganda? Abi diyor ki, ee, ürünler ve üretim hakkı e, kalite standart e, şeyleri yani kalite derecelerini soruyor. Ondan sonra diyor ki e, bir de diyor yani e, insanlarımız hakkında diyor bu ürünleri diyor nasıl diyor lanse edebilirsiniz anlamında soru soruyor abi. Öncelikle ürünlerimizi e, yüksek teknoloji makine parkurumuzla üretimi sağlıyoruz. Ee, üretim kalitemizde zaten kalite belgelerimizde Alman aktasyonlu DAX Alman, Alman aktasyonlu DAX belgelerimizle e, kalite politikasıyla da yürütüyoruz. Ee, ürünlerimize güveniyoruz. Ee, son derece e, kaliteli ee, ürün esna çünkü e, ürünlerde döküm aşamasından yarım üretim ham madde aşamasından e, ve çalıştığı manasına kadar kendi elimizden geçiyor ürünler. Ee, bu kadar. Uh, he said and uh, we trust and uh, our products and uh, we using and the last technology uh, even uh, uh, in third patent even and uh, from Germany patent we produce in from in Germany. Okay. And uh, our product is and uh, less technology and the last quality oh okay so what are some of the countries in africa that they are dealing in already would uganda be the first one or they have other african countries and markets where they have their products already uh, i can answer the, this question i know because under this company i'm CEO. Yes. Uh, uh, we acting and some African country, mm -hmm. South Sudan, Nigeria, Cameroon, Ghana, Africos, uh, Libya, Chad. Mm -hmm. We exporting, but we want to enter time in Uganda. So we didn't sell it in Uganda, these okay. other parts. But we want to enter and the Uganda. Okay, so I want you to um, finally ask Mr. Ibrahim for me that what is that maybe one reason uh, why they chose Uganda to invest in Uganda? And do they, that, do they think that Uganda is ready for UNWA Auto World? Uganda, Uganda marketing is, we know, and very market. We want to enter, but uh, quality, quality is less quality and the very best quality we produce. But we don't un uh, explain. They don't know and the Turkish quality. Ugandan people, Ugandan business uh, uh, people, they don't know and the Turkish and the product. Uh, what can we do? We looking. We want to enter, but uh, Uganda, Uganda market uh, for we and very important. 
Okay. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mustafa. If you could can kindly tell Mr. Ibrahim to give us uh, and the people watching his last few words as uh, we get ready, the manager for Libero. Okay. All right, if the producer can give me more of what uh, Onwa World does, those spare parts, um, Hajara, if you, if you saw, they do from the assembling to the packaging, it's a very interesting process. So if the producer can give us that maybe and the people could watch what these brilliant gentlemen are actually doing down there. Uh, Mr. Mustafa, can you still hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you now. I'm hearing you now. All right, Mr. Mustafa, uh, thank you very much for presenting, Mr. Ibrahim. If we can get someone else in manufacturing, I've heard of Libero. Is uh, the manager ready? So we talk to him also. Okay. Okay. As we wait for the libero to come in, Hadar, from the video that we watched, do you think Uganda will ever get there? I, I think it's going to take us quite some time. All right, the manager for libero is here. Um, Mr. Mustafa, could you kindly introduce uh, this gentleman? Thank you very much for bringing him on. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, yes, and we can hear he, you loud uh, and clear. Please speak English. Speak oh, he speaks dialogue. English. Brilliant. Hi, how are you, sir? Yes, and he can. We are, we are you okay. Can speak uh, under that. Uh, uh, to your to your program. Uh, I am Emra from Turkey. Uh, I represent Libero Shoes. Okay. Uh, we present 100% leather shoes in Turkey. Yeah. Uh, a part of uh, Turkey. It's called Konya. We are a big manufacturers in Turkey about shoes. Okay. Nice to meet you. Now, myself is Shadrach and uh, my, my colleague Hajar are here. We want to just interact with you about the shoe processing company and uh, your future plans and intentions, not just for Uganda, but the market of Africa in general. Um, if you could just give uh, your overview about your quality of product, the shoes that you make. What is the quality and assure Ugandans about your quality? Uh, first of all, we are already in African market. Uh, we uh, send our shoes to, uh, at the moment, we send our shoes to Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia, and uh, Mali, uh, Chad, and uh, some uh, north part of African uh, countries as well. Um, Africa has a huge opportunity uh, for all fields and uh, also for us, uh, for shoes. Um, and Turkish products are uh, likely welcomed uh, in, Amer uh, in uh, Africa. People like Turkish products, uh, believe in quality of Turkish products. Um, our intention is to grow in African market, especially in Uganda. We want to, uh, we, we want to see Uganda as our base uh, in uh, East Africa especially. We want Uganda to be our uh, key to the uh, whole of Africa. And we are aware of the uh, huge potential uh, in Uganda as well. It's easy to... Okay, right there. Uh, we're and going the to see what as Libero well. does. So let's see. Uh, we hope uh, we will grow in the market. Okay, so let's have the people watch 
your shoes, your factory in Turkey. Then we, we come back, then we'll discuss more. Um, let the people watch. Okay. Right now, those are some of the products right there that Libero manufactures. Extremely brilliant things they're doing there, right, Hajara? Um, yeah, I, I, would, I would say, but I, I, I have a question for the gentleman. Yeah. Why Uganda? Yeah. yeah. yeah. Why, why did they take um, uh, an interest in exporting to Uganda in particular? Yeah, he's actually still online. Um, if, if, can, you, can you still hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you please repeat the question? Uh, yeah, so Hajar, if you can repeat the question for him. Yeah, the question was, why the interest in the Ugandan market particularly? Uh, because uh, Ugandan, we believe that Ugandan market is uh, easy to access through Ugandan market, is easy to access uh, whole of Africa. Uh, it's easy to communicate uh, people in Uganda as well. Uh, we have tried our shoes in Uganda and uh, we have got uh, some uh, good feedbacks in the market. Um, that's why uh, we would like to be in Uganda market. All right. So the Ugandans here want their shoes really cheap. And your shoes are good quality and they seem slightly expensive. Are you going to compromise quality and make for them what is um, fit for their budget? How are you going to play around the pricing? Now, uh, of course, uh, when the shoes are quality and 100% leather, uh, you can uh, play with the pricing. Uh, you know, you have a limitation. So, um, when you become, when you bring out quality shoes, of course, the price will be equal to the quality. Uh, you cannot. Uh, sell or you cannot give to your shoes to all Uganda, of course. Every uh, thing has a buyer. Uh, so, of course, uh, for our quality, uh, our clients will come for the quality. All right. So, maybe just to also cut that, don't you think you want to set up maybe the same plant here in Uganda to reduce the costs of maybe taxes that make them expensive. Do you have that in plan? Uh, why not? We can, we can put in that uh, in the future plans. Uh, for now, of course, we want to see the more feedbacks uh, from uh, Africa, from the countries that we sell. Uh, but uh, of course, we can put that in our uh, future plans as well, because our government, Turkish government, is all uh, supporting in uh, many fields uh, for exporting. As you see in the video, Libero is a big company in Turkey. We produce 100% leather shoes. 
lifestyle we export to over 36, 37 countries. Yeah. We are in Africa, in Europe, in the United States and as well. Um, of course, uh, Africa is a huge market and uh, to uh, access uh, into the market and uh, bring a base in Uganda, uh, that's also in our plans. Okay, now um, maybe you want to give your final remarks to all the Ugandans and everyone in the world who, would be, who is watching you via mobile as uh, we sign out. Uh, first of all, uh, we, really, we are really thankful uh, uh, about the support uh, that they show in, in the, our shoes. Um, we are after our shoes, I mean, uh, we, uh, we produce uh, quality of shoes. Uh, when they uh, cross with liberal shoes, uh, do not uh, um, think twice, <laughs> go for the quality. Uh, you will not be disappointed with, with the shoes um, and Turkish products. Seriously, uh, you know what? Uh, I am just. Uh, it's not. Uh, uh, what's our aim? We represent our country as well. As Turkish people, do something out. We represent our country. So if I send uh, cheap uh, and not, uh, not good quality things, uh, later on people will think that uh, Turkish qualities are not good. Money is not problem for us. Of course, people are doing a business, uh, they have to make money and stuff, but um, for us, uh, we don't want uh, people to think bad about Turkish quality and Turkey as well. So that's why we do our best and uh, good quality. Okay, thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, until next time, I think me yeah, and Hajara okay. would actually come uh, sometime time in Turkey and we'll do this live at the factory. You are welcome. Okay, now we we'll go welcome. for a short break. Uh, when we come back, we still uh, talk more of Turkey business investment, export, money, money, money. It's the market code, your business identifier. Do not go away. Now you're still on the market code, your business identifier, live here on the Muslim channel at the .NET Broadcasters Studios, here at the Hub Place, because there are a lot of activities going on here. Now you've heard from the horse's mouth, the manufacturers are ready, they've assured us of quality. Hajara, why, why, should, why should Ugandans be excited about what these men just told us? Um... If, if you look, first of all, with me, it's quality. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I find what the Chinese, the Chinese are the solution providers. Yeah. You do not have enough money, but you need the product. Okay. Um, Germany needs the product. Yeah. Uganda needs the product. Yeah. What yeah. I'm going to do is manufacture the quality that Germany can afford. Yeah. Then manufacture the quality that Uganda can, can afford. afford. Yeah. We know what comes out of consumption of uh, uh, substandard yeah. quality. Yeah. Yeah. People get sick. Yeah. Then you buy 
byproducts that we're not going to find satisfaction right. in. So uh, if, if you are going to have a non-discriminatory producer and manufacturer, yeah. I think that's something to be excited about. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, you are about to deal with a factory or producers or manufacturers mm -hmm. that are coming from a country mm -hmm. that whose output, 42% mm -hmm. of it, mm -hmm. is consumed by Europe. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, the fact is that uh, those people, uh, countries like Germany, countries like UK, countries like France, they consume quality products. But they, they are richer economies. Yes, they are richer economies. Yeah. Exactly. That is why if, if someone is producing and they are taking it, because uh, Turkey does not resound like USA. Yeah, right. Country right. Mm -hmm. sounds like a country like Iran, like yeah. uh, those medium, medium countries. Yeah, yeah. But then 42 of its products are taken in by very rich countries. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. speaks to the quality of, of, yes, the, yes. of the country and yes. it's producing. Yeah. So if, if you can have such mm -hmm. exporting to Uganda, yeah. it means you have an alternative to other European markets. Yeah, yeah. And who knows, there is a demand, then there is a supply that is coming in from several countries, uh, all of which produce quality. The yeah. prices may actually come down for Ugandans. I think it's a plus. And then yeah. uh, there is the third and most important uh, part, yeah. where people get to learn, mm -hmm. those who want to learn, uh, could learn from such plants if established. Right, yeah. And you mm -hmm. have Ugandans employed yes. by that. Yes. And to those of us that have political minds, you have taxes coming in. Mm -hmm. At a time like this, uh, if there is COVID, mm -hmm. we're going to have post COVID. Yeah, Some yeah. companies are pulling out things that have. You need taxpayers coming in. Right, right. So Uganda actually uh, is the one to gain from such initiatives. Coming in. Be because, I, like I asked the man from Libero, the manager, mm -hmm. he says, they are not compromising quality and they are not cutting costs. Mm. How does the future look like for them in a country like Uganda? Um, I, I would assume yeah. that um, they, they are the business people. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the code of business is taking risks, yeah. but then we're in a capitalistic world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they would uh, have somewhere to gain from. Yeah. I think they may lessen the prices, mm -hmm. but they may not lessen them as much as uh, the, how we acquire the shoes that have been made from here or Kenya. Yeah, it yeah. cannot be that cheap. <coughs> But they make shoes mm -hmm. at prices that are not too exorbitant, yeah. so those interested can acquire them. Uh, mm -hmm. What I know about Arabs, um, yeah. or uh, I'm going to, sc uh, to scratch that <coughs> and, and, and say Muslims, yeah. what I know about them is that if they're going to, to give you something, yeah. it's something that is going to be uncompromised. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, if, if they tell you that we are coming in and we are going to produce quality, yeah. then uh, the, the biggest likelihood is that they are going to produce quality. So do, does this open a door for the Ugandans here to access Turkey? Do we see a lot of Ugandans going to Turkey either to trade or to you know to to buy things or sell things what then happens to the import export um situation for uganda and turkey uh, normally uh, uh, trade has uh, a lot of quid pro quo platforms yeah, yeah, yeah. that if we are exporting then we're going to have to import yeah. it may be labor we have seen an influx of ugandans going to the middle east uh, turkey inclusive yeah. by the way and now you, you have them uh, taking part in um, have establishing their plants here. Yeah, yeah. Th that would mean that there are Ugandan raw materials. There are things we produce here that are actually of quality. Mm -hmm. We have co we have coffee. Yeah. Um, we have tea. We have animal products. Yeah, we yeah. have things that uh, Turkey may not have known, yeah. but can now have Ugandan exporting there. So uh, it is going to open um, uh, doors yeah. to Ugandan businesses, uh, either going for employment or um, exporting. The uh, products, yeah. Itself. Before I before I actually ask you what this means for government, mm -hmm. now for you who is watching and you, you, you've you seen what is happening um, in Turkey, you'd want to be part of it, you'd want to go to Turkey, reach out at the .net broadcaster studio or here at the hub um, offices. There's an agency that works in line with that. We are at Salama Road uh, in Munyonyo. It bridges... Um, between uh, businesses to businesses and uh, they can help you actually uh, bridge out that gap. Um, some people actually do not know how to locate investors, they don't know how to locate these manufacturers uh, yeah. face to face, but this, uh, the .NET agency, uh, it matches uh, industries uh, and uh, it's an international scale. So, so it's, it's much like a, a, a middleman or some sort of Exactly. Yeah, okay. so, so, so they link them. Yeah, 
Yeah. Um, when my point of appreciation yeah. uh, for actually what this this particular show would be that uh, f there are there are people that don't Turkish clothes. They yeah. are quality yeah. clothes. Yeah. They are yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, perhaps the, the market has not broadened in Uganda yet yeah, yeah. because people did not have the means of reaching out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, to, to uh, producers, to manufacturers, to exporters from Turkey. Yeah, yeah. But you have a platform like this yeah. that is going to generate employment for Ugandans yeah. that want to have such clothes come in or shoes or beat the automobiles that we talked about earlier. Now, for instance, there, uh, there, there was a video going on um, for the machinery, yeah. the high level intensive machinery that is going going on it's quite expensive mm. i doubt ugandans can operate these things let's say for instance the liberal guy we just talked to for shoes mm. sets up a plant here mm. do ugandans need to train what is the situation what needs to happen uh, normally you see if, even if you go through 20 years of school mm -hmm. we get to jobs and we find out that we need on job training right right yeah but i think that ugandans can actually be skilled mm -hmm. to uh, to take part in these activities because when when these guys come to establish uh, plants here in uganda there is a lot of government laxity yeah. that i don't appreciate uh, you're supposed to task these companies to have a particular percentage of of ugandans employed you say for example yeah. 40 yeah. percent is going to be employed uh, you employ uh, the, the locals 60 percent you bring in your people yeah, yeah. So if, if you have such an establishment yeah. ugandans would get on job training mm -hmm. or once such a requirement once you have such plans yeah, yeah. such schools show up someone sets up a school for example an establishment like dot yeah they establish a school and they say we are training people that are going to be participating in right. automobile manufacturing right, right, right. or assembling right and and you have such business going on in uganda correct in yeah before we wind up the discussion what does this mean to government what what we just showcased right now these manufacturers are ready they said hey we want to set up shop mm -hmm. what does this mean to government when, when we were starting the show, we, we uh, started with um, uh, what the, the GDP and GDP yeah. per capita of, yeah. of Turkey is. Yeah. That, that is something for the government. Close to $750 billion. That's yes, so much money. $754 billion. billion yeah, yeah. And Uganda is on 35 point uh, something. <laughs> yeah, if you look at the GDP per capita, yeah. uh, the Turkish GDP of, of the people and, and what they put out, it is nine thousand dollars. Wow. The Ugandan one is seven hundred. Yeah. Seven hundred dollars. That yeah. is the margin. The, it's something that the government should look at and bow down in shame because <laughs> thirty-six years and, and there is a country like Turkey and so, so uh, the the Ugandan government has to learn yeah. first of all yeah. lesson. Uh, don't you want to be like Turkey? That should be our first lesson. Second, uh, uh, businesses are running out, but you have these ones. They're interested. Yeah. Uh, so have them in, but learn from your mistakes. Yeah. Make sure they employ your people. Yeah. Make sure they don't mistreat Ugandans. Yeah. Make sure they don't underpay Ugandans. Yeah. And make sure that the quality being produced is the quality they promised. Yeah. Yeah. You be on the side of your citizens as a government. Yeah. Otherwise, these are, are, are revenue generating uh, businesses. Yeah. They should be encouraged to set up here. All right. Yeah. Um, it's been a lovely discussion. But maybe as we wind up, you know, there's a lot to discuss. But their population is close to 100 million, it's 86 million people, yeah. and Uganda is just 50 million. Don't you think the population gap could, con could you know, contribute to why they are in that place? The disparity? Oh, please. If, if, we, were, if we were discussing China, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and we say they are uh, one point something billion, billion yeah, people, yeah, yeah. you could uh, produce that as an excuse. But man, we are, we, we are more than half of their population. We are good market, but we don't even manufacture. Yeah, there's no excuse. Here. Yeah, there's no excuse. There, there is no excuse. You, you have a government that is milking Ugandans. Yeah. Those that have tried uh, having startup businesses yeah. really small, they tax them to Uganda the is the most enterprising country in the world. Yeah. But, but these businesses never see their first birthday. Six months. <laughs> Exactly, because uh, <laughs> you are, I, I do not know what the reason is, but they make sure that they hemorrhage the young businesses with yeah. taxes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so, uh, it's not a population factor. It, it is a governance factor. Governance factor. Yes. Hajar, if we don't stop you here, you'll continue. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was about the tax. Thank you very much for tuning in to Market Code, your business identifier, anything to do with money, economics, business, we are here to bridge that gap, industry to industry, business to business. Now, for me and the entire 
.NET Broadcaster Studio Management would like to sign out. We would like to say good night, good luck, adios.